What? Yes. Hey, Aurora. Hey, Lynette. Cord is not the toy. This is the toy. Hey, Carmel. Hey, Karate Joe. water now. Mm -hmm. She didn't eat anything yet tonight. Caitlin's doing great. I think she's gotten past her anger issues. She still gets a little growly. Oh, hello, Julie. Sorry, I missed you coming in. What? She still gets a little growly when she hears Victoria having a fit. Victoria's her golden child. Hi, Hi. Hey, Priscilla. Hopefully, you can tell I remember the tripod tonight. I don't yeah. know to hold this webcam. And really aim it while I'm holding it. Your tail. I don't need to mess with the computer. I know, I know. It's okay. She's fine. I'm just going to put her over here. You need to eat some more. You don't have anything to eat tonight. She's trying to cover it up. She says no. What? Yeah, she reacts every time Victoria starts to cry about something, which is 90% of the time. Caitlin, don't get in the drawer again, please. Yeah, Caitlin has discovered that ah. the drawer is open and now she I, wants to be in them. Now I have a Victoria on my back. Hey, Rick. What we're doing she, good. What is she doing up there? Hey. We'll see you. I didn't do that. I know. Why are you biting me? Ow, Toria. Just to get her off. I don't know. I'm not sure if she wants to get off. Yeah. Okay, then. There you go. You're off now. Well, all the action is over there. The furthest point away from me.
Peace, my old dog. Have not eaten your dinner. <laughs> He's just meowing at her brother. Ah! Oh! bite me. Yeah? Why are you biting me? I have my fingernails. Scream close enough. Hello, Devin. So what are you doing to her? Yeah, they are. Yeah. If we could just get Taz to eat now. Everyone would be in good shape. I've got to get some dewormer for them. I'm pretty sure Caitlin has worms, and I'm pretty sure the kittens have worms. So we got to get that resolved. Probably in the wrong place if you don't like cats. Someone say that. Yeah. I need to be. They're, they are gone. We oh, took care of it. Uh, to some extent, Priscilla, she hasn't totally let her hair down yet, but she will chase the mouse a little bit. What are you doing, Victoria? And Victoria's. Climbing on the camera. No, don't let her do that. You can climb on it, but you can't chew on the cord. Hey, Ozzy. She's concerned about all of them, but whenever Victoria makes any sound, she's got to make a sound back and investigate. <laughs> 
Right. When you're telling them it's time to nurse, it is for Taz. It's not the only food he gets. Well, hopefully, since the rest of them are eating regular food, that. Hey, Alice. She's not. And struggle to produce too much. You gotta let me go. You gotta let me go. And you're walking on my computer. Can you sit on something? I need a leaf or something on the floor. Perfected pooping yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to chew on people. <laughs> They're caught on my ring. You're not supposed to chew on people. He's already eaten some, so he's got to eat some more. Look at how they're nursing. Mm -hmm. so I'm not sure how long they've got before she cuts them off. So Taz better get with it. What? They chewing on you with their sharp teeth. They've got some sharp teeth. Tell him he's got to eat real food so he stops biting on you. You guys play so rough. I'm trying to keep them from totally knocking each other off. Biting her butt. Well, she can dish it out too. <laughs> Seems yeah. like every time Victoria goes to the litter box, she has to go in there and terrorize her. She's a spunky one. No. <laughs> what? Are you trying to tell her to come over too? Also, you were just eating regular food. Oh, yeah, it's play, eat, sleep, poop. It's pretty much the extent of their existence. Are you telling him to come over too? He'll eat some more food if you want it. Brought them up here as vacuum. I'm not really sure how we're going to tackle that yet. I don't have a 
plate pin anymore. We can't put that out there. Yeah, we used to have a little freak out. plate pin to put them in. I could probably get her in a carrier and stick her in the other room for just a minute, but I donated our plate pin to another foster over a year ago, I guess now. Over here. So when the Back to the Future, the Future Kittens were still, or maybe, maybe not. Maybe it was still like kittens that used it last. Oh, I tried to put Wilson in it, and he just started blinging around in mm -hmm. like a bouncy ball. Like, what are you doing? So hard. Crazy eyes. Look at those crazy eyes. I want to use your hand. Hmm. They're all doing good. We, uh, as you probably noticed, the stream is still up. So I don't know if Melanie reminded you all to bookmark the link. It's just unlisted right now. It's in the description. Like there, the links are still all linked in the other. What is that? Oh, that's bad. Anyway, I put it as unlisted because ninety percent of the time you don't even see any cats in there anymore. They're all coming and going, and Stella hides in her hidey hole. But yeah, they're all doing good. We left the door open for them during the day and at night now, so they have free reign of the house. Even though Stella chooses not to. Yeah, Stella is a one-room cat. She doesn't want to venture out. At least not yet. But Hank has gotten even sweeter when he's out and about. He'll there's certain spots in the house where when he sees me, he makes these little squeaky meows and then rolls over for me to pet him. Wilson likes to sit in my lap occasionally. It certainly is, Lynette. They keep getting in the shower, and that's the first thing they go for. Find it again. I don't know. Lynette just asked if the shiny disc was the hair catcher. Yeah, I don't know why they like that thing so much, but they, they've they gotten it out numerous times now. It doesn't attach to anything. It just sits over the drain. So you know that our lock is not on the door anymore, we can't keep them from it. Yeah, I guess I should just go to the hardware store and buy him one and toss it in there for him. <laughs> Why are you going to try and push other people out the well, way? Don't let her, let her push Taz out the way. <laughs> Taz doesn't know how to eat yet. You can't nudge him out of the way. You can eat some more food if you want it. She's going to pour you up. Stir it up. She Stir likes it. Up. We bought a couple new plates. I mentioned before that the in the room chat earlier today, I guess, that the other blue plates we've had since twenty sixteen. Use them for three litter, four litters of kittens now. So, just bought some new cheap plates at Target. Yeah, I've got to do some homework on the warmer and see if we can just buy buy some from the farm store. I know they've got it. I just don't know how good it is, but if it's good, I'll go ahead and buy it and start. I think I've still got some syringes here somewhere that have never been used and 
hopefully start that process. And Taz had a little bit of an upset belly earlier. I'm not really sure why. Caitlin is definitely too skinny, even though she eats. Yeah, Caitlin is skinny. Did you go eat with your sister? Look. Get her to lick the spoon before she would eat off the plate. That was kind of the warm up. She's not as big of a fan as of just the food yet when it's all mixed up. She likes the formula more than anything, which is okay. It's hopefully giving Caitlin a break. Checking out. <laughs> Come on. I think Victoria forgets that she likes food until she tastes it on the spoon, and then she's like, Oh, yeah, this is good. I'll go eat it off the plate now. Calmly. He says he's sleepy and has the hiccups. <laughs> he has the hiccups. Yeah, Devin likes to eat, and Ozzy definitely likes to eat. Alice is a work in progress. Victoria does pretty good once she gets going, but Taz is just going to be our holdout. It's going to be our. Uh -huh. In the bed, which I think Doc was the the holdout from Clara's litter. But that quickly changed. Still have the hiccups. Fuck it, man. Hey, Mr. Krabs. She's here. She's over there. Okay. What was my, my shoes smell like? Ran other cats. What are you doing? What are you doing? Cat food is chicken and liver. You can see that. Mixed with kitten milk replacer. Okay, 
Yeah, you don't need to mess with that. That's gross. One of your children had poop on his butt, and I had to wipe She's, it off. I eat poop. I mean, not as much anymore, but moms do. But it's just a dramatic change in her demeanor over the past couple of days. I think she's finally accepted that we're not going to eat her babies or mm -hmm. harm her. Where is still going? Mm -hmm. Told you she eats good once she goes, but just getting her there has been the challenge. Says you need to eat more, Taz. There's a conversation over there. Come here, son. I need to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Devin says, I gotta go too. Did I go too, Ozzy? She's calling to me too. I don't know what this meeting's about, but it's important. Is that good? Boys only, no girls allowed. Is that good? Between four and five weeks. We can just get Taz on board. There in just a second. Looks like the party is quickly winding down in here, and we need to go here shortly anyway. It's getting late, and it's been raining here. The weather's gross. What? 
Excuse you. You have a hiccup too? She ate enough. Oh, you have the hiccups too. You just told him to go over there, and now you're going to wake him up and make him move. She says, that's enough. started eating the dry food last time but I'm hopeful they'll start on that soon because I'm never sure how much of the wet food to leave out there's always a little bit left in the mornings when I come in not much but who was that <laughs> it was a fart or then stepping on the mat just the right way Oh, you love a fart or a bird. Somebody did something. Yeah. Calling out. She's trying. You are going to be a big guy. Victoria's losing the battle here. Ozzy's definitely going to be a big guy. You're going to be a big guy. Hey, Connie. Laps too, you know. No, you won't. No more lap. She's got too much to do right now. And he said that she used to watch TV with him. Her mm -hmm. songs that I watched TV. accepting of me. He has the beard going and I have the beard going. Mm -hmm. See how skinny she is? Need to get her dewormed and Hopefully put some weight on her. She discovered the drawer a little while ago. This one right here that I had the lamp clipped on. And got all the way inside of it. And now she wants back in. Yeah, I was saying before you got here, Connie, we're going gonna to go to Tractor Supply this weekend and see if I can get some dewormer and 
we may have to weigh them all to know how much to give everybody but i'm hoping i still have a syringe i think i do have a syringe here or two yeah she's the one wearing pants i have shorts on tonight so it's a little painful when they crawl all over me but yeah hopefully i got a syringe and i can get them some dewormer this weekend and everyone can start gaining weight and have more pleasant poops well they always get a little bit weird whenever they start switching their diets amen yeah you can barely see Alice there she was the first to fall out Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> We've been, uh, it's been a tiring week. But we get a three day weekend coming up, so we'll still have to come up here, but there won't be. She got all over. Mm -hmm. As Victoria begins to wobble, it'll be a little more manageable over the weekend. And there still may be another foster that steps in at some point. I don't know. I told the lady from the rescue it wasn't a big deal. If there's not, I haven't been yelled at yet, but I have to do a, a company retreat on the 11th. Well, starting the 11th and overnight through the 12th. So I won't be able to come in in the morning of the 11th or the morning of the 12th. Well, I might be able to come in the morning of the 11th, but I won't be able to come in that evening and I won't be able to come in the next morning. So I think I've got some help lined up for the mornings and Melanie will come in in the afternoons. And Maybe go home. Yeah. Need 10 more cats. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Your life is too busy for that. Well, I started to, but then I thought I can't say no to my job when it's my place of employment that's housing these guys right now. I can't let this interfere with job related things. So since everybody seems to be falling out, is that everybody over there? One, two, three, four, five. We'll go out and see. Claire, Lily, Stumpy, and Copper for just a minute, and hopefully I can get out the door with Miss Caitlin getting upset. Gonna stay there and be cool. Maybe. We're gonna be cool. All right, let's be cool. She's coming. Well, we're going to have to back out of the door. No, 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 no. We don't want an episode. We don't want that episode. So, here goes Clara. What are you running for? We need to clean up. There's <laughs> just like a mess of cords and whatnot. And all the things that they knock off my desk, especially that one is who me we'll sit over here and see if we can get them to come over here yeah you see the, the damage that uh stumpy has inflicted here hey copper See, they all get along. I mean, everybody's right here and nobody's going nuts, which I greatly appreciate. Yeah, Copper's definitely healthy. 
Yeah. He is no stranger to food. Are you? Gotta put his eye drop in before I leave. No, Stumpy. Well, okay, I won't catch you then. And Miss Clara, she will probably let me pet her. Nobody can see you when you get that close, Clara. She is going to let me pet her, just not the way I was before. They can't see you that close, Clara. You have to stay back a little bit. She's like, well, this is what I do on your desk, because I mess with all the cords on your desk and knock things over. That's how she greets me in the morning. She jumps on my desk and she wants attention and then she just starts rolling around and knocking things off and anything she can do to make me pay attention to her. Lily. Lily. She went over there. Lily. So his eye doesn't run anymore. Now he just gets these weird little eye boogers. So I guess that's progress. I'm gonna keep keep up with the drops though. I guess I'll keep doing it until they're gone. He didn't tell me how long to keep him on them. He just said twice a day. I'll have to check, Lynette. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I noticed uh, over the last few weeks that it, uh, it's like it'll go for a few seconds and then it's black and a little spinny thing comes up and then it'll come back on. And so I don't know what the issue is. I'm at a loss on what to do with it. But I'll check it out in just a minute as soon as I wrap up here. You tired, Stump? Pushy and jealous. So, yeah, it is now by my watch three minutes until ten, and later than that on the East Coast. So I think I'm going to wind it on down for the evening. Uh, tomorrow we will be earlier. Um, Melanie gets off early tomorrow and we'll come over. We can probably help get some of the stuff done that I can't do while I'm still having to work for the next hour or so or until everybody decides to call it quits tomorrow afternoon, which will probably be a little early since it's a holiday weekend, just if I had to guess. so. 
I would say look for us around five central time, six Eastern ish, six ish Eastern, I should say. And uh, we won't make you stay up really late tomorrow for this. It's dumpy. So until then, we're going to finish up here and head back home and do more cat things and then call it a night. So I appreciate everybody and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Yeah, Aurora, I was going to ask that earlier and something distracted me. Stop. Ah, I don't blame her. That's what I want to be doing. So I guess the sooner I get out of here and get home, the sooner I can. But thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. And we'll see you earlier tomorrow. So hope to see you then. Have a good night, everybody.